What should you do if your doctor refuses to comment on your restrictions and limitations or fill out a residual functional capacity form without you having a functional capacity evaluation? Now, I get this question a lot, and I will tell you that your doctor's opinion about the nature and severity of your symptoms and what you can do despite your physical or psychiatric impairments is really key to getting your Social Security disability benefits. The Social Security Administration uses a five-step sequential evaluation to determine your entitlement to benefits. <clears throat> and one of the things that they're going to be asking you or asking in determining your claim is can you go back to the lightest or simplest physically demanding job you held in the 15 years before you became disabled? And can you do other work in the mythical, not real world national economy? <clears throat> now, you would think that that would be easy to figure out based on your records, but doctors didn't, you know, don't always do a great job in documenting your symptoms and rarely really document functionality. So one of the things that we try to do is to have our clients' doctors complete physical or psychiatric or residual functional capacity forms that will get at what a person's abilities are. Now, what will sometimes happen is that the doctor says, you know, that's not my job, I don't know, go get a functional capacity evaluation. That can cost 900 to $1,200 to get a functional capacity evaluation. And I quite frankly think that that's cool because your doctor should be able to fill out a residual functional capacity form. They went to medical school. They've treated patients just like you. They know what you can do and can't do. I think when the doctor says that, that they really just don't want to get involved. They don't want to fill out forms. And quite frankly, they don't want to help you get the social security disability benefits you deserve. A functional capacity evaluation can be a one or two day test of your physical abilities. And normally it's done by a physical therapist who will measure your range of motion, will ask you to lift, bend, stoop, stand. And what they're trying to do is to project your physical functioning based on the results of that testing. When in fact, I think that the doctors really know what the typical restrictions and limitations are. I don't think that that a physician who says, I'm not going to fill it out, really has your best interests in heart. They, at heart. They might be the greatest doctor in the world, but if they're not going to help you get the benefits you deserve, I think it's time for you to consider finding a different doctor who will be supportive of and complete forms. Now, you need to understand that there is no average mean test used to determine restrictions and limitations. It's your physician who knows you best. And if you have to find a new doctor, it's going to take a little bit of time before you establish that relationship, before you should even ask the doctor to complete a residual functional capacity form. Because they're going to think that you just showed up because they'll fill out forms for you. And that's not a good way to get off uh, with a, 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 you know, a start with a new doctor. If you have any questions about your rights to Social Security disability benefits or your doctor saying, I just won't fill out that residual functional capacity form or comment on your restrictions, call me today at 727-894-3188. We can talk about strategy to help you get the Social Security disability benefits you deserve. 727-894-3188.